Butterfly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime, bro. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Butterfly. When you start rapping like that? You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. Rightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. I hear, I hear everybody out there talking, you know, making blogs, tweets. It's so much going on right now. And I must say, salute to every single one of y'all out there, you know, getting to it and grinding, man. Whether you love it or hate it, you know, it is what it is. But, uh... For the sake of the argument, I would love for my subscriber base to jump in this comment, jump in the comments below, and do you consider myself and Showtime SP low-tier bloggers, mid-tier bloggers, or top-tier bloggers? I think that's all for the interpretation of the fans. I would never say I'm this or I'm that because at the end of the day, it is what it is, you know. I mean, we say a lot, we play a lot. You get paid a lot, so I mean, you know, it really doesn't matter. I mean, I think the views speak for themselves. You know, I, I, I don't, I don't have much more to say on that. But uh, speaking of battles and battle rap, oh, man, daylight, salute to daylight and all that he has going on. Uh, Top Dog Entertainment, daylight, he's going to be introduced with the new class, the new members of TDE. Him I go back to this alley stacking my word flex and Dex a Cali troop with the future lacking the herb trouble fell in love with double cups all these cats is absurd cannon blow animals in your circle that's what I heard word jungle rumble they pain and they training day for big fails didn't sell me the street light with clip shells I shall be back with backup stack up the G's never rack up the Mac up sharp point on attackers we on shark point no long naps tapped in this permanent bro bro got his whole dome capped he trapped in the firmament we calling that the way we behave this is how all men act in thug environments so we pass respect and Black mass rejected fable. If I sign to a label, then it's Akashic Records able me to be a label mate with no fucks given. I'm celibate. They asking me how my mind chastity built it. My brain fried. The other side, we are on the same side. Uh. Him along with Punch, uh, a lot of other people are coming. Daylight is on the way with the music. He definitely has a, a situation going on where he's going to be moving, transcending into the music realm. If you don't know, Daylight does music and he gets busy on the microphone as well as inside the battle rap ring. So, leads me to a tweet that Daylight put out yesterday. Talking to Real Sick. Real Sick, if you, if you haven't heard, I don't know what rock you've been sleeping under. Real Sick is one of the leaders of the new class. This new class, I'm not gonna lie, they starting to really impress people. They are making their waves and um, I, I'm gonna talk about these guys in a second. Real Sick. Um, you know, Punjabi, he's a Punjabi MC. Like, like, you know, as soon as the beat dropped, we got the streets locked overseas with Punjabi MC and the rock. I came to see the mommies in the spot on the count of three. Drop your body like it's hot. Y'all remember the Punjabi MC. But no, he's a, um, you know, Punjabi MC, an Indian guy. He, uh, Super lyrical, you know what I'm saying? Like he's super lyrical. He whooped the magic's ass so bad the other week. I just titled it real sick. Whoops the dog shot a beat magic. I'm sorry. Um this kid got some talent. He's from Jersey. I haven't seen him really get the Jersey cosign yet. You know, the real Jersey, Jersey cosign. But you know what though? I'm cool with that. Real sick, don't you don't wanna be you don't want a jersey, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't really wanna you want to represent Jersey, but you don't want a Jersey, if you get what I'm saying. You don't want to do what Jersey's been known. J J Jersey. Um, real dope MC, man. Uh, humble kid. I've seen him in you know his interviews and stuff like that and in his battles. Uh, shows a lot of respect, you know what I'm saying? And um, he, he's honing his craft. He's, he's on his way up. He's on his way up, you know what I'm saying? He's on social media. I don't follow him on Twitter. He don't follow me on. We need to follow each other on Twitter real sick. I, I rock with what you do, man. Um, but uh, you know, he's he's making waves, and you know, he he definitely he came through. Um, I believe, you know, don't don't quote me. I believe he came through U Dub I Battleish, like a U Dub I Battle situation. He had battles on U Dub. He has battles on I Battle, and now he's on Ultimate Rap League. He's making his way through. He's 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 not playing no games. Um I'm pretty sure we're gonna see more of him. 
And to get someone like Daylight calling you out, Daylight don't battle many people. They, on URL, Daylight has Mike P, Tay Rock. That's it. Resume done. Daylight says, Ayo, real sick, 9-9. Nine, nine. I might have to have a few words with you soon, sir. I might want to bring you to heaven, see you soon. Daylight doesn't call anybody out. I know we knew Daylight for a lot of trolling back in the days and shit that he was doing like that, but it is what it is. He has moved on and he has moved on and done what he's doing. But now he has become a focal point, a large figure in battle rap. And now you cannot take anything away from the accomplishments and the things that he did. His last performance versus Tay Rock was the best performance of 2020 and still has not been surpassed. Call it what you want. It has not been surpassed yet. Um, Real Sick did reply. I'll meet you up there. Let's get it. And then, you know, easy to block cap and said, let's effing go. This class is very different. This class, I will say, this class is very different in a number of ways. From the way that they support each other, like you'll see Kid Chaos, Easy to Black Captains, Lou Castro's, Real Six, um, all these guys. Whenever one does something good, they'll repost it, they'll retweet it, they'll, they'll show admiration and show love like they're moving as a group. Even though they battle each other, like they'll bring smoke to each other. And at any moment's notice, but Real Sick is definitely up there with the leaders of this class. Between, between him, between Easy the Black Captain, who has T-Top coming up. Now, a battle between him and Daylight would be insane. Um, but here's why I don't think it'll happen. This is just me being Giannis, you know what I'm saying? Keep it a buck, you gotta be Giannis. I don't think it would happen because what Daylight is worth, slash what he costs, and slash what he brings. Like, I just don't see him coming down anytime soon after that last performance and the way he moves as far as business and things are going he's going to want like he'll want an astronomical astronomical amount of money to take a rookie mc like he did it back in the days versus a mike p when mike p was a rookie and then you see how that battle was that battle was good in itself too but i just think you when you get far gone you know you want a label now he's doing the tde thing he's got the music shit going i don't i just don't see it happening you know what i'm saying but it's a good thought to even be getting called out by an MC like that, to get called out by someone like a daylight, even if it's just for entertainment purposes, it starts to move the wheel. You know what I'm saying? URL reposts it. Other people start talking about it. You know, uh, bigger channels than me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just low tier shit. But bigger joints. You know what I'm saying? They start talking about uh, a potential battle between you and daylight, and I definitely think that let's just speak for the the shit sake of it if it was to happen uh that would be a very interesting battle um obviously most people would pick daylight because of the experience and the things that he's able to do but real sick ain't no game like like he's going to be here for a while he doesn't look like one of those guys that's into what comes with battle rap see the problem is with some of the other classes you had mcs that were to me and this is no knock on anyone you know what i'm saying like who am i i'm just a nigga with a camera you know much hated one too but um the problem with some of the other classes is some of the mcs loved more of what came with battle rap than actually battle rap and, and i know that you're like what what is he talking the numbers the fame the notoriety the followers the fuck everything that comes with it see with battle rap you get a following, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the reason why I don't argue with these niggas, because we all got a following. Like, I'll have 20,000 on Twitter, 60-something thousand on YouTube, 10 grand on Instagram, That you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't even do Facebook. So it's like, you have such a big, you have a following of people, and with the following comes the attention, comes chicks, it all is it's just battle rap it is what it is like that's going to come with it but some people who have never had any level of fame or any level of notoriety that shit gets smoke it becomes cloudy you get smoke and mirrors and some people start to focus on what comes with it over actual battle rapping and then you'll see the performances start to dwindle down well in this class some of the best mcs in this class are either in long term some of the guys, you know what I'm saying? I seen, um, um, when I seen Real Sick on Instagram, I think I seen a picture of him and his girl and an Easy to Black Cap, you know, him and Dewey's together. So these guys are really focused on rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to smoke you. These niggas is focused on rap. They're not coming in for no extra shit. And they move, that's how they moving. But 
in some of the other classes, I've seen MCs, I've seen it happen. They get caught up with the broads. and There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, you could mess with somebody different every week if you want to. As long as you protect yourself and not out here having kids, you can do whatever you want. But once the performances start to slack and the bars and the battles ain't like that, that's where niggas is going to draw the line at. When the battles ain't meeting up to the bullshit that comes along with it, niggas getting into fights, niggas starting to, you know, run off, we're on different leagues, taking all these fucking battles everywhere. When that, when the shit don't add up, you know, the tolerance, the, the bullshit and the tolerance got to equal up. When the bullshit is above the tolerance of the fans, that's when the fans are going to flip on you and they're going to just say, you know what, it's not even worth it. But I will say, this class right here has not yet, has not yet, it's not like it can't happen. They haven't had that one guy that's just going to blow all the way up like Geechee Gotti level, New Jersey twerk level. And I know he's had his ups and downs and shit like that, but they're going to bring him back. Come on. You got too much invested in him. Uh, that, that next level superstar. And I know it's not a lot of stages around right now, so you can't really tell who's going to do what on the big stage and shit like that. But there's a lot of potential guys who could take the next step to the next level, and it's exciting to see. But I put this class as a collection of talent, I will put them slightly above the last class. It is what it is. I, like, their reason, they got five or six or seven or eight guys. The last class probably had two, three. Uh, you know, you had the class with Twerk and Jack and all of them. Big stage stars, you had Geechee Gotti and Twerk. And then the rest, you know, you had some guys who may have got a big card here and there. But this class right here got a fucking lineup. That's all I'm saying. Uh, if him and Daylight saw each other, that shit would be very interesting. We're going to see where it goes. Uh, you already know what it do and what it does. So you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all out there that watched this content. I'm thankful. Keep rocking with us. We're going to keep rocking with y'all. Uh-huh.